Ish Yehudi Mechuyiv Lahamen, every Yid needs to believe. Shafilu Mechitza Shel Barzil, even a Mechitza of, what's Barzil? Metal? Iron, right? What's, what's stronger? Iron wall. Eina Mafsekas Ben Yisrael Avim Shabashamayim. Nothing can block a Jew from his Father in Heaven. Ba'kadosh Baruch Hu and Hashem, Shoichin Ita Mafilu Besoich Tumasam. When we go into Tumma, it doesn't change anything. The Ebishter dwells with us because a yid is a piece of Hashem. And if the Jew does not want to be separated from Hashem, it's all up to you. It's all in here. If you don't want to be separated from Hashem, then you won't be separated from Hashem. And it's the same Yitzhahara again and again. Why do people feel separated? Because of my sin. He said, He's with you in the Tumah. So the sin does not separate you. So if you don't want to pull yourself back, nothing in the world, no matter what you do, nothing can make you separated from Hashem. And this is so vital and important because if you feel separated from Hashem, like we learned before in the other shtickle, then you sin more. And it's not even true. So this is a very big problem. People feel that after I fall, I'm separated from Hashem. you separated from Hashem, so you sin more, because you have less emotional energy, as we said before. The Chola Astarim and all of the Hester Panim, all of the hiddenness of the connection, Kulam Enam El Kamoisha Av Mastiris Atzma Lupa Amim Mibnai Shaloi Yireu. The whole Hester Panim that Hashem is hiding, it, He's with us. Just sometimes a father, he makes believe to his little child, he hides, plays hide and seek. He makes believe, he doesn't want his kid to see that he's watching him. Like you told me that you were watching your kids on the video camera, right? You said, they didn't see me, right, just now. They didn't see me, but I saw them. Hashem does that. They feel like, oh, we're abandoned. No, 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 he's watching you. But he's not abandoning them. He's not mafkir them. He doesn't say, I don't care about you. He's being hidden now. He wants to see how you behave without shining his light of open his skalos of revelation. That's galos. That's, that's what we signed up for somehow. right? That's part of it. But it doesn't mean I care about you less. It doesn't mean I, I'm abandoning you. It means that right now, you're not going to feel me in your life and I want to see how you behave. Not even for one second. And Hashem is constantly watchful over us. He just wants to put his child in a test. Like I said, to see how do you behave when Tati's not looking. Right? I'm watching you. Now I'm going to make believe like I'm going upstairs and watch you on the video camera to see if you don't take the cookies from the cookie jar. A child that doesn't have seichel. The son who doesn't understand what's happening, he thinks, oh, daddy's not here. He doesn't care about me anymore. He abandoned me. But the smart son knows. It's not possible. Fathers don't abandon their children. It's not possible. It's not possible. Umeven, so he understands. He realizes, the smart one realizes, that I know I feel like he's not here, but it's impossible he abandoned me because parents don't abandon their children. Must be that I still have Ashkoch Pratis and he's still, he's watching me from far. said, A yid after he stumbles and falls. With Avera, sin, Hagarua, Beyoiser. Extra, super duper low sin. I would tell you, imagine, but don't, don't. If at that moment, after he finishes the sin, he's not ready to stand before Hashem, and he's not ready to talk to Hashem and to pour out his heart to Hashem. Why? Because he feels meruchak. He feels like Hashem's not going to be interested in me. That's that Yetzahar in our, our brain. It's not true. Oh, you see, it's a sign. It means he hasn't shred over the threshold of Judaism and Hasidus. It means he, he's not even in the building. You don't know the Aleph base. Because the Aleph base is to believe. Because the first Aleph base of this relationship is to understand that there is nothing you can do that will make Hashem not be interested in you. 
And even if you just completed the big world's biggest Avera Chamura B'yoseb Atayra, and you realize, oh, it's time for Mincha, and Hashem's not interested. Baloney. That's the Satan. Yitzhahara. Yes, he wants to hear from you. He's ready for you to be makabel you and b'tzarech liyos mesugul and you have to be prepared lishpoich levavoi gam oz noichach p'nei Hashem and you have to be ready to pour out your heart even then noichach p'nei Hashem. We're just on the way home from the biggest avera chamura b'yaser center. We have nine. Uh, what, what? You don't want to daven? Why don't you want to daven? Because I feel separated from Hashem. Why do you feel separated from Hashem? Because the avera. But the averas don't do that. Hashem is there. He's waiting for you. And you need it even more than ever before. And that's pshat for Amr Bayemahu. Al ki al ki kirbi matsuunas harasa ela. What did they say? It's going to be in the time, it's going to be very bad. They're going to say, Al ki ena lakabi kirbi. Pashib pshat is that you know why matsuuni harasa ela? You know why we have bad stuff? Because Hashem is not with us. He says, no. That is the punishment. You want to know why we got punished? Because al ki ena lakabi kirbi. Because they fell to a point that they thought Hashem abandoned them, that's why they got abandoned. That's why they got punished. They didn't get punished for their sins. They got punished because they decided in El Kabakiri. So beautiful. Pashib Shat is that they said, you know why we got punished? Because Hashem is not with us. Now he's saying Pshat is because they thought that Hashem is not with them, that's why they got punished. Because when you realize that Hashem is with you, regardless of your spiritual matzav. Like he said before, there's nothing that anybody, you or anyone can do to block you from reaching out and being connected to Hashem. So if you believe, no, Hashem abandoned me, then you don't have Hashem in your life. That's when bad things happen. That's when people fall. That's why it's so important for us never to feel that, that we can't connect to Hashem because a life without connecting to Hashem is a life full of sin and regret and bilbul adas and depression and all kinds of bad things. So, he says, because they said, which is wrong, because Elikai is always Bikirbi, and they decided, so that's why the bad happened, and that's why they got punished. What was Einish? Ah, you think I abandoned you? Okay, so now double abandonment. Now let's see. Now let's see. And even in the, has to, has to, he's still there. It's just a double layer. And who's supposed to remove the layer? Us. And all we have to do is reach out. Because our hand can go through any Hester upon him and, and reach into Hashem's hand. As he said before, even an iron wall cannot block us from connecting to Hashem. And even sins that create an iron wall, especially in our minds, do not block a Jew from connecting to Hashem. The whole thing is about relationship. The whole thing is understanding. And that's exactly what we have to do with our children. First of all, we have to teach children this because so many kids, especially Bakram, they do Averis and they do stuff and then they feel, oh, I'm a low life, I'm so horrible. Hashem doesn't want me. There's no such thing. Who made that up? Where does it come from? It's in the psyche of human nature to believe that. It's just a side effect of sin. So first the Satan, the Yitzhahara gets you to sin and then he sticks in this this injection, now, now I blew it. Now Hashem's not interested in me. It's like, whoa, Hashem never saw this one before. You know, he can't handle this. And meanwhile, the whole thing is not true. He's there, he's waiting, and even right then after the biggest sin, you reach out to Hashem and he's waiting for you, and he never closes the door and says, get out of here. It's a human flaw, but it's not a godly flaw. So we have to teach this to our kids, and we have to show the kids with our own relationship, because the way that we treat them as parents, that's how they say, oh, if my father hates me, then my father in heaven for sure hates me. If I make my father sick, then my father in heaven is for sure disgusted and sick of me. But no matter what they look like, we come in and we give them a big smile, and say, so good to see you. I'm proud to be your father. They can believe that Avinu Bashamayim also might actually be feeling that same way about them, which is really the MS. So we're giving a chance to reveal the MS. And the parents that don't do it, they block the child from knowing the MS that Hashem is proud to be their father, even because they figure it's, it's impossible. Because the whole thing is a metaphor of parent to child. That's the whole relationship with Hashem is, is, is like, a, like Avinu, right? And my Avinu hates my guts. My Avinu is, is embarrassed of me. So 
Avina Bashamayim must be also very embarrassed of me. So we actually disconnect him, not just from the parents, we disconnect him from believing that Hashem is in his life, that he's Hashem Alekei Yisrael, like we said before. And what happens when you're living without feeling connected to Hashem, feeling that you're an embarrassment to Hashem, feeling that Hashem is not interested in you? You don't have the emotional energy to stand up to the Yitzhahara. More sin. That's how important our job is, to keep people connected and to know the truth. And that's what happened by Muhammad Samalik. What does it say? They had a suffix, Ayash Hashem Bikirbenu im Ayin. Is Hashem Bikirbenu, right? Which is the ultimate mistake. So, oh, Vayavi Amalek. Amalek came. Why? Not as a punishment. It's not a punishment, it's a reality. A person who walks outside without a coat and gets sick, it's not a punishment, it's a reality. A person who has a low immune system and catches diseases, it's not a punishment, it's a reality. The immune system is knowing that I am with me and Hashem. Me and Hashem. And nothing can separate it. And if I feel, I'm not sure if he's with me, my immune system drops, like every disease in the world, every fungus and every, every enemy is going to rip us out physically, emotionally, psychologically, spiritually. As soon as there was a suffix, like Pshat is, Amalek was always there. But they had no way to attack us because I had my armor, I had the Iron Dome. So they couldn't shoot missiles. As soon as the Iron Dome goes down, we say, Hayesh, America, Bekirbeinu, Imlai. If Israel says, I don't know if I have America backing me, all of a sudden, they're going to attack, right? That's why Israel needs to know America's behind them. Why? Because if, if America says, I'm not defending Israel, all the Arabs are going to attack because there's a weakness, a vulnerability. Their vulnerability, our vul vulnerability is saying, I don't know if Hashem is really with us. So now I don't feel Hashem in my life or I'm not sure it's a suffix anymore. So I don't have that 100% feeling I'm open, I'm vulnerable to, to infection. Kikashi yesh Yehudi, listen to these words. Kashi yesh Yehudi is habitachin hamale. When a Jew has complete bitachin, complete security. Shekadosh Baruch Hu nimtza imay, that Hashem is with him. Ein shum kayach beklipa lishleipay. No klipa, nothing can overpower us. No sin, no, no satan, no amalek, nothing can overpower us and wipe us out. Uvechala matzavim. And in every situation that we end up in, because we're humans, and ain't sadik ba'aretz is she'asa toivalayechta, but in every situation we end up in tzarich ish yehudi lahamin, we have to believe shakadish baruch hu aviv v'hu bechinas ben etzlei. We have to know that our shakadish baruch hu is our father, and we are a, a, a child, a prince, his his prince, ukerachim of albanim yerachameu. And that never goes away. In fact, the worse we are, the more a father feels bad for his kid, the worse they are. The more Hashem feels bad for us, like the mashal that we said on a different clip.